guys. Um, in today's very quick video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up an abandoned cart series for your shop or your store. It takes under five minutes um, and it's just one of the most effective things you can do if you have a shopping cart on your website. Um, an abandoned cart will, will email people that leave items in there and decide not to check out. Um, and I've seen companies earn so much money from their abandoned cart automations. Um, so highly recommend doing it. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do it. When you log into MailChimp on the left side, you're going to look for automations and you're going to click on customer journeys. Now you can do this through your customer journey builder. Um, but I am going to show you how I like doing it, which is through the classic automations. So up here at the top, it's a very small text. Um, that says check out classic automations. So I want you to click that and then this will pop up. Um, what you can do is turn um, to check the e-commerce option and then you'll see turn on abandoned cart email. So we're going to click that and then up here, this is a very important part, you're going to click email series. We want to do a series of three emails spaced apart. So the first email sends maybe a couple hours after they abandon the cart, it says, oh, we noticed you forgot this, we'll hold it for you. Then they get another email maybe a day later that says we're still holding it for you maybe return to your cart here's a discount and then the third email is kind of like a final you know one last chance to go purchase this um, before we remove it from your cart so um, click email series and you can title this whatever you'd like but i think abandoned cart series is great and then we'll click begin and it will populate here it goes um, it will populate your series for you which I love. Okay, so here is your abandoned cart series, email one, email two, email three. And they already have it kind of set up timing wise. So they have here one hour after they abandon your cart. You can change that. Um, I like to wait a few hours, maybe four hours. Um, so you can click update. And then the second email, they have one day. Um, and then they have trigger for the third one, three days. So you have your three emails here already set up and now you just need to design your email, which really won't take too long, I promise. So you'll click design email. And this is the fun part. So um, of course you do, you do need to put in a subject line, um, you know, try to be fun and creative with it. We saved your cart for you. It's not super exciting, but, um, you know, you can change it to whatever you would like. Um, we're holding for you. Okay, and then you can click next. All right, and then it says, which template do you want to use? Um, I typically use the one with product recommendations. So what this is, and I'll show you, um, it will not only show the items that are in your cart, but it'll give you recommendations for other items from your store, which is really cool. So I'm going to choose that option. Alrighty. And here we go. So it does pull in my logo. Obviously, I don't really want that logo, but um, it pulls in everything you need. So obviously now it's all about just customizing, but this is literally your whole abandoned cart email. So, you know, you could update, um, you could update the headline to whatever you'd like. You can change the sizing, the fonts, the colors. Um, you know, I highly recommend customizing this email to your brand colors, whatever your brand colors may be. So I will save that. Obviously the buttons I recommend customizing to your brand colors as well. So you could do that, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, um, whatever you want to do with your, with the look of your email. Um, but super easy and just kind of fun to do because it's all like laid out for you already. Um, you can pull a divider in, um, you can, you know, update really anything here that you would like just, just as a normal email. Um, so the footer, you know, we could make like a fun yellow and, um, then if we want to see what this looks like, so we're going to click preview, um, enter preview mode. Now I don't have a shop, <laughs> so it's not really going to preview many things. Um, although I, I do have a couple items I have put in here before, uh, a class and a monthly service that we offer. So it populated those two items, um, but it will populate, 
you know, if you look at the preview, it'll populate your, your products. Um, you can also customize these product, um, you know, the style of, of how this looks. So if you wanted to use a different font, a different color, um, you want it to look like gray, whatever you want to do, you can, you know, customize the entire look of this email. Um, the price, um, there we go. If you don't want the price, I believe, yeah, you can untoggle that if you don't want to show the price in the abandoned cart. Um, but that's it. That's literally the whole abandoned cart email in, what the, it's been five minutes, so in five minutes. So we'll save and continue. And then um, that's that's email one. So you, you could technically go ahead and start running this with email one being done while you work on emails two and three. Um, if you don't want all three emails, like if you just want to do maybe two emails, you could absolutely delete the third one. So we can delete this. And we could just have maybe two two emails um, and then you would just click next and you would start running your abandoned cart series so that's it uh, abandoned cart series in a nutshell i love creating these so if anyone needs an abandoned cart series let me know because i'll hook it up um, that's it guys let me know if you have any questions